before we start extruding and beveling this, we need to make sure that all the letters are made up of quads because right now they're just made up of these giant polygons and these need to be cut up into pieces. So still in point mode, I now have my knife selected which I can get by pressing M and K or right clicking and going to knife. I'm gonna start with the easy letters. So the straight edge letters just connect up some of these corners to split them up into different sections. So the V here is now made up of four different parts consisting of three quads and a triangle down here. That's fine. This shouldn't give us too many problems. The eye is already a four-sided shape, so we don't need to change anything there. On the D, we're just going to connect these two corners up. And uh, that's it for now. We'll be returning to this and uh, continue to fix up these other sections. Let's just continue with the easier letters. So on the E, I'm just going to connect up these two corners first. Let's go to front view. It's a little bit easier to work in this view rather than the 3D perspective view. The way to connect up this last section is to first of all just cut across here and then extend this edge to the outside. And if you hold shift, you can draw a perfectly straight line. It looks like we could uh, straighten some sections here. If I select the point down here and the one at the top, press T, and I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and that seems more straight than it was before. Let's move on. The O is really simple, just connect up the corners. On the F we just have one corner and that's it. Similar thing on this other O too. And then the R, let's just link up this corner, the middle section here and we can continue these edges to the outside as well. And uh, we'll come back to this shortly. Let's go to the T and basically connect up the middle section and then continue these lines to the top. Let's go back a little and work on the R. Because these points don't really line up um, as well as the straight edge letters, you know, the inside section here doesn't really correspond one to one to the outside section. So what I can do here is just connect the inside to the outside as best as I can. But there are some areas where I just won't be able to link any points to anywhere. In those areas, I'm just going to draw the points in just as a rough guide and then we can clean this up in a second. But for now, let's just continue trying to join up the inside to the outside. I'm going to hook this middle section to this point over here and then do the same to this point down here. And I'm going to make this a triangle and hook these two points after and then just continue working on the rest. And it looks like down here we missed these two points when we were doing the cleanup. But there we go. That's like a rough draft of what we're trying to create. And this is where I can get the original spline layer. Let's uh, just bring it back. I'm going to go to the basic tab and use color. Set this to on and then we can select any color that we want. I'm going to go for a green because it's quite easy to see. Then when I go back to our geometry, I should be able to see the guide. But currently I can't. That's because I need to just go back to this and set it back to adaptive and set the angle down to five. And now we should be able to see it. Then I can just uh, zoom in to these sections and move these points to try and conform more to the original shape of the spline. And uh, this doesn't have to be exact because by the time we apply a hypernerves or subdivision, it's going to tighten these areas anyway and also smooth and round them up. So you can relax a little here and uh, just do your best to try and follow the shape. Not a lot else to do there. Let's move to the outside. And uh, it seems pretty good up here too. Maybe just move this out slightly. Over here, we definitely need another segment. So let me get my knife once again. And I'm just going to make a cut across and we can move these points to where we need them to go. 
I'm gonna start like this and then let's move this to the curve. And I think that should be fine. Let's do the same on the inside there. And uh, these two points are pretty much where they need to be. Except this one needs to be pulled in a little bit. And this can be moved down and a little bit to the left. And I think that's as good as this is going to get. Let's go back to the D now. And we're just gonna try and connect this up as well as we can just the same. In some areas, I have to completely ignore any existing points and just make my own cuts because I try to follow the way that the letter actually sort of rounds off. So these lines are going to gradually become steeper and steeper as we turn around this corner. And I think we are done here. Let's go back to the perspective view just to review what we have just done. And this looks great.